guess what we're doing we're gonna do another product review today we're gonna do a review and take a look at the Simmons 22 mag 3x9 rifle scope and I'd just like to say that even though this isn't a tutorial on how to mount a scope or, or zero a scope uh, there will be some uh, tips and I guess more like advice uh, that I've learned over the years because I'm not exactly new at this but I'm not an expert either but if you're a novice at it more of a novice than I am and if there's anything I can put into this video to help you along your way uh, please stay tuned and I'll, I'll try to make it uh, kind of uh, simple basic and easy to understand I hope you know homesteading on a dime is up here in Alaska and we uh, spend most of our time hunting small game as opposed to large game. I mean, everybody thinks about Alaska as being the land of, you know, moose and caribou and grizzly bears and, and, and that stuff. Uh, you know, and those things are definitely up here. But I, I myself, and I think most people, actually spend most of their time hunting small game, just like probably everywhere else, in Canada, United States, wherever. So I spend most of my time shooting game with a 22 rifle as opposed to a big centerfire rifle. Uh, uh, I hunt uh, spruce grouse, uh, ptarmigan, and and rabbits, or technically their hares up here, with a 22 rifle. Uh, I also have to control animals which uh, cause me much grief, like squirrels. The squirrels up here aren't like gray squirrels down there. They're pine squirrels. They're about the size, think of chipmunk. And uh, they like to try to get into my roof and make nests, and they chew up the things that I leave outside, and they, the one time they did break into the cabin and cause quite a mess. Uh, also porcupines. I have dogs and they love to hunt, and porcupines have been my, kind of my, uh, I don't know what you would call it, they're just <laughs> my, my arch nemesis up here. I got no problem with them other than the fact that uh, they, they hurt my dogs terribly. So almost all of my hunting is done with a 22 rifle and it does a really good job on most everything I need up here. Uh, like I say, I, I shoot maybe several rounds of center fire ammo uh, during the course of the year, but I'll go through, you know, 100 rounds of 22 long rifle ammo. So the 22 rifle is my go-to rifle up here. So let's take a look at the scope I put on it, and we'll see if it will get the job done for you like it has for me. You know, the Simmons uh, Scope Company uh, started out in, I believe, in the mid-80s. I think I was still in the Army when I first heard of Simmons Scopes, and I was thinking, man, who's going to own a scope by the name of Simmons? That's just the lamest thing ever. Uh, sometime later, after I got out of the service, I had the opportunity to inspect a few and look at them. And to be honest with you, they looked to be every good as the um, entry-level uh, Bushnell and Tasco Scopes, which all had a solid reputation. So I decided to give them a try, and they are a decent, decent scope. This is my third Simmons scope. Uh, the, the scope that used to be on this rifle was also a Simmons. It was a four-power fixed. I had a, a, another 22 rifle that had an ancient, ancient scope on it. Uh, it was a Weaver scope, but it was marked under the name J.C. Higgins, and if you guys are as old as I am or older, you'll know what that means. It means old, and it, it went bad on me. So I decided to swap out, obviously I had to buy a new scope. Well, what I decided to do was take the 4 power off this and put it on that other rifle. And that other scope was 14, 15 years old and it worked perfectly. It was a fixed 4 power. And as I was shopping around for scopes, uh, this scope was about the same price as the 4 power because I was going to put another 4 power on this. Right, well, for the same price, I might as well go for the variable. I might as well have the option and that's what I did. I mounted it up and zeroed it in and uh, it's been just a solid performer for about the last almost a year now so uh, let's take this over to the shooting table I have a rifle range up here at the cabin and uh, put it through some paces and see what it can do at 25 yards okay here we're set up at our little uh, rifle range we have here up at the homestead and you can see a card table behind me with uh, my day pack which is going to serve as my rest my rifle is set up with a small uh, video camera on top of it and down at the target board there will be a tripod with a, a video camera down there as well. Now just for uh, sake of conversation I got a few hints and tips for you. Now another uh, tip to make your, your hunting uh, more worthwhile is when you're setting your scope up you want to set your eye relief up 
uh, your scope up so that the eye relief uh, is the same. When you shoulder your rifle, your, sh your cheek is going to come up on the same spot pretty much every time. Position your scope so where you don't have to hunt back and forth with your eye to see clearly through that scope. Also another thing is, is uh, do that with the clothing you're most likely going to be wearing when you're hunting. For example, most of my hunting is done late in the year, uh, from September to uh, December when small game season is. So I'm going to be wearing more like winter clothing than, than say, summertime clothing. And what will happen is if you set your scope up uh, when you're wearing a t-shirt, you're going to find that when you've got your parka on or heavy clothing on, your, your eye isn't going to come up to that scope properly. So uh, if you can, set your scope up to use the type of uh, clothing that you're going to be wearing when you're actually hunting. Okay, let's shoot a few groups and see how we do. Now I ended up shooting four three-shot groups. Now normally I think most people shoot a five-shot group, but because I'm so low on ammo right now, I had to cut that back to three. So I apologize for that. I shot four groups, and uh, my my best recorded score was uh, .430 inches, which is just under a half an inch. Uh, a, a half inch would be point, uh, .50 inches. Uh, my next group was 4.38 inches. As you can see, that's a pretty small group at 25 yards. And uh, the worst group was 0 .440 inches. Now, I did have one group uh, where all three bullets were touching. Unfortunately, some zipper head forgot to hit record on the camera so that it was not recorded for posterity, which is the way it goes, because I would have quit after that group, quite honestly. But uh, this scope, with uh, a decent rifle and quality ammunition, is capable of some really, really good accuracy. But I don't just do target shooting. In fact, I don't do very much target shooting at all. My, my ammunition uh, is needed for other things. So let's go out and do some hunting, uh, grouse hunting, for example, with this rifle combination, with the scope, the Simmons 22 mag, uh, 3x9, my Mossberg rifle, and my Aguila ammunition, and see if we can't scrounge up some dinner.
And there you have it, the Simmons 22 mag 3x9 uh, rifle scope uh, designed specifically for 22 caliber rifles. I've been enjoying this uh, scope setup quite a bit. We've been doing uh, pretty good hunting grouse this fall. Uh, hope to use it on a rabbit if I can scrounge any up, but there just don't seem to be any. Uh, so anyway, that's the scope in a nutshell. Uh, it, it's a great value for the money. It's, uh, it's an economical scope, and it's a good scope. It's very bright to look through, uh, gathers a lot of light, easy to adjust. Uh, just been a really good scope so far, and I'm sure it will hold up as well as my other Simmons scopes have. So if you're looking for a 22 rifle scope, you don't want to spend or can't spend a ton of money, give the Simmons 22 mag a, a, a try. Now, I am uh, in the Amazon affiliate program, so down below this video in the description area, you will uh, be able to click on a link to Amazon. It will take you right to this scope. Um, uh, if you purchase this scope or any other Simmons product, I will get a small commission, and uh, it won't cost you anything. It won't add anything to the price, and that money will go a long ways towards uh, uh, keeping me on my land, feeding my dogs, upgrading equipment, fixing equipment, uh, just letting me uh, provide for myself, uh, make more videos for you to enjoy, not just product reviews, but other, other stuff that I do up here. And uh, anyway, if you would uh, check that out, I would very much appreciate it. Uh, I use these products, and I highly recommend them to you. So just uh, give it a try. Go check it out on Amazon, and we will see you on the next video. Oh, here's some more tips. Here's a few more tips for the uh, novice who wants to learn how to do things themselves. Uh, most scopes uh, come with rings these days. Uh, and what you'll find is in the package there will be a small piece of tape, which looks it's almost like uh, emery paper. What you do with that is you put that inside the scope uh, ring itself, and that acts as a, an abrasive and a little bit of a shim so that when you tighten your your scope rings down uh, it's got extra grab on it. Now that's not as critical on a 22 as it is on a, a larger caliber rifle but it's a good thing to help keep the scope from slipping as you're adjusting it. Also when you're tightening up your scope don't uh, don't screw down all the way on on one of your allen wrenches uh, on one of your screws. Uh, tighten them up finger tight and then just turn them one at a time, uh, one turn at a time until they all tighten up. Because what will happen is if you try tightening one up, it tends to torque your scope a little bit. And you'll raise your rifle up and you'll find that your crosshairs, which you probably worked very hard at to get to get uh, level, are, are off a little bit. So take your time uh, uh, screwing those down. You'll have a little Allen wrench. Not many of them have slotted heads anymore. Most of them are Allen wrenches. Just take your time. Turn, turn one turn, one turn, one turn, when it starts getting snug, then start going quarter turn, quarter turn, until everything is tight. Also, the screws in here might have a little bit of oil on them or, or uh, residue from the manufacturing process. Wipe those off with rubbing alcohol, get the grease and all that stuff off there, and use blue Loctite on the threads. Uh, that will keep this scope from ever loosening up. These rings uh, sometimes uh, will loosen up over time just from the recoil. If you put a little bit of blue Loctite, not red Loctite, blue Loctite on those threads, that'll stay secure until you need to take the scope off. If you don't have that, what we used to use in the old days is fingernail polish, and that works as well.